global demonstration against nuclear power took place recently in Cape Town commemorating Chernobyl Day. We are still play, paying the price today for all the radioactivity that was released on that day, with thousands more dying as time goes on. People say they won't, it won't happen, you know, that's why we call something an accident. We just need to look at what happened in the Gulf now with the oil spill. BP said it would never happen. It's a potential catastrophe like Chernobyl that has many South Africans up in arms about ESCOM's plans to build a fleet of nuclear power stations. The bell rang for the dead, those killed by the world's worst nuclear disaster. South Africa is currently dependent on coal for 88% of its electricity generation. Despite being the worst air polluter and a major contributor to climate change, further coal power stations are now being built. 6% of the country's energy needs are from Coburg Nuclear Power Station. We inherited the nuclear sector and industry given our, uh, the apartheid government's uh, involvement uh, in the building of atomic bombs. Salim Fakir heads up the Living Planet Unit at WWF. Then we've had the Pebblebed Modular Reactor. Uh, which is now uh, basically uh, government is not going to finance that. After spending 8 billion rand on the pebble bed modular reactor, the government has closed down this project as it's still unproven technology. Instead, the Department of Energy is going to import older, proven nuclear hardware for the planned new nuclear fleet. At present, there are 54 nuclear power stations being built internationally. The doldrum that you saw after Chernobyl uh, has really, is no longer a doldrum, the wind's blowing, so to speak. Dirty coal's detrimental effect on our climate is boosting interest in nuclear despite its dangers. Renewables are also gaining popularity. Though comparable to nuclear and coal cost-wise, renewable sources of energy like wind power are clean and safe. In South Africa, at least between six to 8,000 uh, megawatts of wind can be generated uh, and be introduced into the grid. So that can offset at least two coal-fired power stations, uh, if you were to put that into perspective. The first of 25 wind turbines has been erected at Kucha Industrial Zone in Port Elizabeth, making the Nelson Mandela Stadium FIFA's first ever green-powered soccer stadium. Wind-powered energy started to be produced only 100 days after the hardware left Denmark. Nuclear power compares poorly to this. They're going to take a long time to build. They're 10, 15, maybe even 18 years we are looking at. The Kucha wind farm may be part of the birth of a commercial level renewable energy sector in South Africa. But critics say government could improve their renewables target from 4% to 20%. Around the corner from the new wind power development in Port Elizabeth is Tace Punt, site of one of ESCOM's three planned nuclear power plants. The Tace Punt Alliance, a group opposed to Tace Punt being the site of a nuclear power station, counts Professor Richard Cowling as one of its members. What impact would the building of a nuclear power station have on the environment? Well, a massive impact but you know maybe we should look at this in a slightly different way and ask what impact will the environment have on the nuclear power site I mean this is a dynamic environment the dunes move between 10 and 40 meters a year there's uh, wetlands um, which are, are highly unstable so the proposed site is actually on shifting sand yeah Environmentalists say the headland bypass dune system at Tacepunt, which incorporates a wetland, is unique globally. Trudy Milan is the Tacepunt Alliance coordinator. Do you think ESCOM would benefit by re-evaluating the sites that were chosen so many years ago? These studies were done in the 1980s during the previous apartheid government rule. And one of the reasons why they didn't look at an, the, the corridor between East London and Port Elizabeth, which is where we need the electricity, was because it was within 100 kilometers of the Siskai. Opposition to the building of a nuclear power station is not limited to Tace Pint here in the Eastern Cape. Located just 30 kilometers north of Cape Town is Africa's only existing nuclear power plant, Kuburg Nuclear Power Station. 
High-level nuclear waste, some of which remains radioactive for thousands of years, is stored on site. Studies haven't been carried out in Cape Town, but in Germany it was found that all types of cancer and leukemia occurred significantly more frequently in the vicinity of nuclear power plants than in further areas.